Who are real Territorians and what makes them so? An exhibition exploring who the Territory's true nomads are has opened in Darwin. The Art of the Nomad is a collaboration involving 18 artists from Alice Springs and Darwin. 7.30 and T went along to the exhibition to find out what being a nomad is all about. The real nomads are the people who come and go from the Territory. 30% of people turn over between elections every four years here, so there's a massive turnover of people. And very rarely do you meet a white fellow who was born here before Cyclone Tracy. These 18 artists and curators are setting up for the Art of the Nomad exhibition, a celebration of non-Indigenous art from across the Territory. The fact that we as uh, non-Indigenous people come and go in the Territory as we please, I feel we in a sense have become the new nomads or the true nomads. Each curator has interpreted their idea of what a nomad is and some have taken it from a really kind of external idea of looking holistically at what is a nomad and some other curators have taken it from a very internal kind of perspective on what the territory, what kind of nomad it is attracting. It was at this exhibition at the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory last year that inspired the art of the nomad concept. Chips McAnulty made a speech at the opening of the Activate Cultivate Red Hand Prints exhibition that resonated with the art community. What I was talking about at the museum was as much as anything else that they have coasted for a good 15 years and shown virtually no contemporary non-Aboriginal art uh, in the joint. And that seems to be a bit of a failing. We started thinking about what's a way that we can include uh, a whole range of artists from all over the Territory to be part of that show and what's the best way we could do that was we kept referring back to Chips's speech, this idea of who is a nomad you know, in this area, the, the difference between you know, Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists. Rubbish warrior Trevor Jenkins is one of the artists in the exhibition. He's best known for his rubbish sculptures scattered around Darwin, which he calls scarecrows. He's the perfect nomad. He's, you know, represents homeless people. He's constantly moving around. And so we wanted to kind of capture that movement that he creates around, around the city. Opening night at the Chan Contemporary Arts Space drew a big crowd. The Federal Minister, Peter Garrett, enjoyed one of the more popular sections of the exhibition, the Bogan Bar, including the board game Boganopoly. Pick up a honey pot, back 10. Buy jet ski, arrow, six forward. The story always was that, you know, the territory's full of mercenaries, missionaries and misfits, and to which uh, Frank Goyer, Colin Holt and I have added uh, the Bogan. Um, certainly from last century onwards, there's uh, beautiful northern suburbs are filling with bogans and they're doing very well and good luck to them. I mean, check out that spelling for Kimberley, the poor bugger. I mean, how many letters do you have to have in your bloody name? There's certain odd things about bogan culture and that is the sort of naming of babies with sort of lots of different spellings and you sort of feel sorry for the teacher who's got five Rileys in their class all with a different spelling. Alice Springs artist Susie Lyon has drawn on the iconic red dust of Central Australia for her inspiration. Her swag represents those people who are homeless in the Territory and sleep rough every night. Susie Lyon believes they are the genuine Territory nomads. I myself think of a nomad as someone that needs to move within a year, within the seasons, to live. Whereas I don't have to do that. I, I do do that. But I do it because I can, and I'm kind of privileged. Two bit of duck, only one. Yeah, no, really what makes the artists so special up here is that you come up here and their work is so then strongly influenced by the Northern Territory in some way, even though they practice in very different forms. The art of the nomad is on at the Chan Contemporary Art Space until mid May.